Well, welcome to our rhythms for May. As we come into this month, I wanna take you to a passage in Romans. And Paul has been walking the church at Rome through all of what Jesus has made possible and what he's done for them. And as he comes to chapter 11, he just begins to celebrate. <laughs> Listen to what he says. He says, Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and his ways. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who, can, who knows enough to give him advice? And who has given him so much that he needs to pay it back? For everything comes from him and exists by his power and is intended for his glory. All glory to him forever. Amen. He comes to this point and he just begins to celebrate the complexity, the beauty, the power of God's plan, his wisdom, his understanding. Look at this story that he's told. Look at what he's done. And as he's walking them through that, I, th I think it should encourage us. I think it should remind us again of the complexity of his own plan in our lives. I mean, think through all that went into his pursuit of you. Not just what he did in terms of Jesus giving his life for you and making it possible for you to be adopted into God's family, but the complexity even inside of your story of how he's pursued, how he's loved, how he's revealed himself, it's, it's phenomenal. And yet sometimes in life, we can come to the point where we begin to think that God should take advice from us. And we think that he needs to execute our plan instead of us constantly being amazed by and seeking his plan. And so this month, I want for us to sit with this passage so that we can just remind ourselves every day that no, he knows what he's doing. And he knows what he's doing a lot better than we do. And for that to give us confidence, give us hope, for that to allow us to sit in wonder and awe, for us to be grateful for all that he's done. I hope that will fill your month as you sit with this passage.